Have you ever heard of Google Chrome extensions? You know, those little widgets that you can add to your computer's browser? What if we told you that you could create them without knowing how to code, working only one hour per week, and netting $10,000 per month? You're probably thinking that sounds like a good gig. We think so too. Google Chrome extensions are simple but powerful. So powerful that a brand like PayPal bought Honey, a Google Chrome extension, for over $1 billion. $1 billion. Yup, billion with a B. And PayPal is not the only brand buying up extensions to add to their portfolio, meaning there is ample time for you to join in on the fun. In this video, we will explain why Chrome extensions are a profitable opportunity and how you can create them, even if you don't know how to code. Be sure to stay to the end for some of our Google Chrome extension ideas. If you're interested in learning how money is made in the oddest ways, give us a sub, a like, and if you're really odd, a comment. Now let's get to the mentions of extensions. Google Chrome extensions are add-ons that give your computer's browser added functionality. Think of them as little unique superpowers that help you when browsing the web. Google has a marketplace with over 180,000 Chrome extensions that anyone can view and use. And 290 million users every month go to the marketplace to find an extension that helps their needs. This means you can list your extension, do little to no marketing, and people will find and install your extension. This is a fantastic predicament since Google pretty much does all the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do is create the extension and list it. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a second. There are Chrome extensions for pretty much anything you can imagine, from security to couponing, crypto, video recording, and grammar. The list goes on and on. But what makes Chrome extensions interesting is that anyone can create them. What? Take Kim Dang, for instance. Dang created her first Chrome extension in 2018. Little did she know, she stumbled upon a great opportunity that funds her current lifestyle and livelihood. But get this, Kim didn't know how to code, and she still doesn't know how to code. Yet, her single Chrome extension nets her anywhere from forty dollars to $50,000 per month. We know because we asked. Talk about striking gold. Since Chrome extensions are simple to code, Kim was able to find someone on Upwork to help her. And you can do the same. Don't worry, if you stick around and you give us a like, we'll show you the exact blueprint and framework to find the coders. Most Google Chrome extensions use a freemium pricing model, meaning that you can install the extension for free, but certain premium features are unavailable. Unless you pay, that is. For example, Grammarly, which has over 10 million installs, allows you to use the extension for everyday grammar fixes, but if you want to use the app's editor, you have to pay a monthly or yearly amount. But when it comes to Dang's extension, you need to pay her up front after installing it. No freebies are available, which allowed Kim to stack up cash. Her extension, Group Convert, has over 4,000 installs and ranges from $10 to $17 per month. And because it solves a particular problem, users are happy to pay that amount. This leads us to our first lesson. Chrome extensions are only successful if they solve a real problem. Kim's extension helps Facebook group owners collect email addresses upon entry. This is valuable as an extension because business owners can use those email addresses for other marketing initiatives, which makes the group owners more money in the long term. Like Kim, Mike Salise, owner of Google Chrome extension named Scribble.co, has found similar success by giving value first. Kim and Mike didn't create a Chrome extension. They made monetizable, quantifiable value for others to find on the Chrome extension store. The good thing is, there are millions of problems still unsolved. And even if you don't know how to code, you can solve them. Millions of people going to the Chrome extension web store, plus millions of potential problems to solve, equals a gold mine for your taking. Like Kim, you can use services like Upwork to find developers who can help you create your idea. Want to know how we would do it? Listen up. Before looking for a developer, you must have the idea fleshed out. You need to have a sense of how it would work, the pages or steps needed to function, and the design. For a simple Chrome extension, you won't pay more than $1,000 if you do these steps beforehand. Step 1. Go to Upwork. Upwork is a place where freelancers can find jobs that other people post. So in this instance, go to Upwork and post a job. The job you post should have a title like, 
looking for developer who has experience with Google Chrome extensions. Be specific with your titles so people don't waste their time. Step 2. Fill out the job posting. With Upwork, you will fill in the requirements for the job. Step 3. Set your rates. We recommend that you set a fixed rate. It shouldn't cost more than $1,000. Remember that you're most likely going to pay upfront one time if you do the work before looking for a developer. Step 4. Hire fast and fire faster. Once you have a few candidates, we recommend testing their skills. Ask them to do something simple so you know they're capable. If you want more information on hiring developers, check out the link below, which will give you a complete resource guide on how it's done. Step 5. Think about pricing. Are you going to do a freemium business model like Mike from Scribble, or do you do a paid up front model like Kim? The choice is yours. We recommend that you test different pricing strategies once your extension is done. Step 6. List your extension. Once your extension is done, you can list it on the Chrome Web Store. The listing process is simple. Google gives you detailed instructions on how it's done. Once you submit the extensions to the store, Google will take a few days to review, and if there are no problems, you'll be listed for millions of people to find you. Now, who's ready for a bonus? Bonus number one. If you have no idea what Chrome extension to create, then check out the Chrome Extension Ideas Substack. They have ideas like a Chrome extension that automatically closes your tabs if you haven't clicked on them for three days, or a Chrome extension that helps you filter YouTube comments. You'll find an idea in no time. And if that doesn't work, you can always search Twitter for Chrome extension ideas, or head to Reddit and do the same. We're sure there is an idea waiting for you. Bonus number two. If you're strapped for cash and want to build it yourself, but don't know how to code, then you can check out Builder. It's a tool that allows you to create software without code. And the best part is, they have a free course showing you exactly how it's done. If you found this odd, maybe share it with someone, subscribe, and if you want an even odder way to make money, click on this video or stay common forever. Peace out.